Prince Harry's name appears in U.S. court documents related to a $30 million lawsuit claiming that Sean Diddy Combs SAs both men and women. So don't forget to subscribe by hitting that button down below and like my video. Also leave a comment because I read every single one and I learn a lot from you guys. So record producer Rodney Little Ron Jones filed the bombshell lawsuit against Diddy and claims that his affiliation to the Duke of Sussex and other stars gave him and his associates legitimacy. The court documents filed in the US last month do not suggest any wrongdoing on Prince Harry's part. He is not a defendant and is named once in the 73-page document. Little Rod's lawyers claim guests were drawn to Diddy's alleged trafficking parties because of his access to celebrities such as famous athletes, political figures, artists, musicians, and international dignitaries like British royal Prince Harry. However, the Prince of Wales is not named in the court documents and is not known how many times Harry has met the rapper since then, if at all. So while Harry is not facing a legal claim, it is not the first time the royals have been embroiled in serious court allegations in the US. It came hours after Diddy's Los Angeles and Florida mansions were raided by the Department of Homeland Security. Diddy was also seen looking tense as he was finally spotted at a Miami airport after his private jet was tracked to Antigua, but he wasn't on it. Combs, a billionaire, is already facing lawsuits from three women and has lost a host of commercial deals in the wake of these claims. Meanwhile, Diddy's alleged neighbor claims Diddy brings minors to his house by the busload late at night. Stop bringing all the miners over here late at night. I live right next to him. He do too much. He be like, he be like buses, like big ass buses. You see all type of shit hop out. Especially at nighttime, like around three o'clock in the morning. It gets wild. I'm his neighbor. Just my basketball over there. I just let him think. I don't want to go. So according to the lawsuit, Diddy was having underage girls sign NDAs before Bill cosby them at his party. So giving them substances, having them go to sleep, and then essaying them, which begs the question, who were all these other celebrities in attendance witnessing this happen? And they never said anything. It sounds like it's time for a dive into all of his party picks. Resurface footage of Diddy on April 12th, 2020 shows him introducing his kids on Instagram, one of which was his alleged adopted daughter, Ava Baroni. Combs made it sound like she had poor parents, maybe with issues living on the streets, and he helped them and then offered to adopt her. My name's Ava. I'm a Scorpio. No, no, no. What's your last name? Oh, Ava Combs. What's your other oh. last name? Ava Baroni. Ava Baroni Combs? Yes, it's, it was breaking news. Diddy adopted a white child. <laughs> I, want you, I want you to tell them the story about how I adopted you. you but you still have beautiful parents that but you're my child also, but please, please tell the story. So, I was <laughs> on the streets, and then Papa Combs decided to, that he would like to be a caring man. So then he saw me and decided to pick me up and said to come inside and play with his kids. Yeah. 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 Wow, this young woman being surrounded by these three men just doesn't sit well with me. So meanwhile, the raid yesterday allegedly revealed Diddy's secret room. This video is from Matt Wallace on Rumble, and I linked his profile in the description below. What's more striking though, is that the square footage shown on Zillow versus the square footage shown by the real estate agent was different by a relatively significant amount along with the renovations, making it relatively obvious that something more was done to the home than what we are being told, suggesting that secret tunnels and or some sort of secret room was built underneath. Perhaps why Sean Diddy decided to buy this home in this area 
area surrounded by the elites, one of the reasons why the authorities decided to go in now, whereas they were leaving it alone for so long, is because there's a lot of evidence that incriminates their bosses. There's stuff in there that will take down an entire elite circle of people if it ever gets out. So they have to go in and make sure that's not found. That's why you're not hearing everything about this. If you take a look at why they first went into the garage, that's because I believe that is where the access point to the underground area is that they added on. And as one user writes, if you don't think this is about children, you haven't been paying attention. Don't forget to subscribe by hitting my face right here.